Today we are going to talk about our favorite cryptocurrency Ecomi. We are about to focus on gem model updates. But first let me say a few words about Ecomi and Vivi for those who are not familiar with them. The Vivi app allows users to experience true ownership of premium digital collectibles. Throughout the app marketplace users can obtain common, rare or one-of-a-kind collectibles. Share these across the social network service and exchange them with the Vivi community all from the palm of their hand. Ecomi sees digital collectibles as a new asset class that offers intellectual property owners the opportunity for new revenue streams in digital landscape. Digital streaming, gaming and in-app purchasing have become a multi-billion dollar market and the next to join the digital trend is the pop culture and collectibles industry. If you want to learn how to buy Ecomi, click a link in the description for detailed tutorial. Now on the gem update part that you came here for. The introduction of gem models serves a number of purposes. They provide a familiar in-app currency for non-crypto users and remove the steep learning curve required when entering the crypto industry such as wallets, keys, exchanges, etc. As well as removing any potential security issues with those steps. Gems can be converted to OMI tokens within the app and sent from your in-app wallet to exchanges if that is how you choose to use them. This feature will be exposed to non-crypto fans as they dive deeper into the app and offers an option to take up that learning curve at a later date. The purchase of gems via an in-app purchase generates an additional stream of revenue for the company, referred to here on out as gem revenue, which is used in buyback mechanism discussed below in more detail. Primary versus secondary markets. It's important to understand that within the Vivi app there are two collectibles that can be purchased. The store. This is for primary sales. That is digital collectibles and artwork produced and listed by Vivi. Purchases in the store can be made using fiat currencies and gems. Regardless of, regardless of the mode of purchase, any purchase within the store triggers the same OMI mechanics and token flows detailed below. The market. This is for second-hand purchases. That is, the market is where you can buy, trade and sell your collectibles with other users. Purchases in the market are made with gems. Gems are available for purchase within the app as a standalone purchase on can be made at the point of sale using Apple or Google in-app purchases. Sources of buyback revenue. For the following section we'll be using an example that uses round numbers to make it easier to follow. It is based on $1000 worth of gem sale where 500 of those gems are used to purchase new NFTs from the VV store. The system is designed to capture revenue for buyback from two sources. A percentage starting around 10% of new NFT sales purchased within in-app purchase. When it comes to revenue generated for the company from new NFT sales, the app store fees 30% also need to be taken into account. Using the example below, a $1000 gem purchase would equal $700 of revenue entering the ecosystem after app store fees. When 500 of those gems are spent on NFTs in the store, it equals $300 $150 in revenue to the company, of which 10% or $35 goes towards token buybacks. Revenue generated from gem sales based on NFT purchases. Gems are used primarily in the market to facilitate peer per peer transaction. Using the above example, if the remainder of the $1000 gem purchase that is worth $500 is not used in the store, the gem revenue $500 minus 30% app fees equals $350 will be added to the buyback fund. Note, gem revenue is in, is in reference to revenue generated by the sale of gems rather than the sale of the new NFTs. Although $385 out of $700 going to buyback may seem excessive, 55%, it is actually to offset $1000 worth of OMI tokens that are being held out of circulation. So in this example, the buyback becomes 38 8.5% of the original gem purchase. To put it simply, the funds going towards buybacks are equal to total revenue less new NFT purchases and app fees. Conversely, if all $1000 worth of gems purchased is spent on NFTs in the store, there would be no gem revenue generated by gem model for that one. Therefore, only 10% of new NFT sales shown in buyback source. Therefore, only 10% of new NFT sales 
would be contributed back to by Vagabond for that time period. It is anticipated that the market for peer for peer transactions will be at least double the size of the primary market, although these numbers will vary based on use, point of sale, market gem purchases. Whilst users can indeed purchase gems anytime, it is more likely that will be purchased at the favorite point of sale app or Google in app purchase in order to facilitate the purchase of the favorite collectibles from users. How do you think this will impact our Ecomi price? Write a comment down below. In my case, I will be holding Ecomi until it hits $1 since I know it has the potential to reach it. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like since that helps a lot and also subscribe for more videos like this one.